Welcome into the Husker 24-7 three-minute drill. That's Brian Christofferson. I'm Michael Bruns discussing the last full week of Husker spring practice, spring practice number 13 in the books today on Tuesday. Brian Christofferson, you talked with Marcus Satterfield about some quarterbacks. What'd you learn? Yeah, he did talk a decent amount about the QBs. Um, Jeff Sims having a good spring, it sounds like. Um, the two big things for him were limiting turnovers and bringing the completion percentage up. And Marcus Satterfield said he's pleased on both those fronts. Heinrich Harburg continues to get buzzed, though. I mean, I think he's pushing the competition. They love him as a runner. Um, at one point, you know, Satterfield mentioned, you know, Eric Crouch was at the practice and he, he just kind of was using that as an example that Harburg's bigger than Crouch and he's just like kind of a running back when he, he gets that ball in his hands. But he also made a made it clear he can throw it too um, and can do some things there. So um, Harburg is very much in this conversation. If anyone has dismissed that throughout the spring, I would tell them not to Casey Thompson has been uh, heavily involved in the mental part with the reps and is in there every night trying to teach things. He is throwing some, um, but uh, you know, he's going to have to obviously catch up a little bit to those guys from the physical part of getting out there. Um, you were over there by, uh, a couple offensive linemen, including, including Teddy Prohaska. What, what's going on there? Yeah, Teddy Prohaska working his way back from his second major injury at Nebraska. Had the knee injury first, worked it back from that, uh, then had a shoulder injury that cost him uh, last season, uh, the, the, the last two-thirds of last season. He's pretty much back from that. He still had the, the green no-contact jersey on. He's not going to play uh, in the spring game on Saturday, but – he sounded more confident coming back off the injury, which is big for him. I know confidence is one thing that he was kind of slow to have uh, in that knee after it healed up. So I, I think he's going to be in the mix at that left tackle spot. Uh, but I think he's, you know, kind of been re-energized this spring with the new coaching staff and uh, getting another season of Donovan Rayola at that offensive line spot. Let's take it back to you for one more thing from today's practice. Yeah, I'm going to cheat a little bit, Bronson, go back to Saturday too with uh, rule who talk post practice, and basically he was really emphasizing they can't have a wasted moment, you know, right now, including this final week. You can't be like, oh, that's the end of spring ball. They're down the block. I'm not going to lock in and get something done. So I think even on Thursday, um, it sounds like they might switch up the time and do stuff under the lights, like some situational football. They can be only helmets only, probably in that practice. But it, the point is, you're getting a lot out of it. It's not just. Uh, an hour and a half of nothing. And um, I think that's going to be what people see on Saturday too, is a, a, a focus on if this is 90 minutes or two and a half hours, whatever the length of the spring game is, it's got to be competitive. It's got to be a useful practice where you actually put something on film. So I think fans can look forward to that on Saturday. That's practice number 13 Two, one more to go before uh, Saturday's red-white game. Keep it locked in on Husker 24-7 for all the coverage from practice.